Howard Dolly's My Lobotomy, a memoir, is a harrowing account of his life and the aftermath of his lobotomy. The book is a heart-wrenching exploration of the medical procedures and social attitudes of the mid-20th century that left a lasting impact on Dolly's life. The memoir is structured around Dolly's search for answers about his lobotomy, which he received at the age of 12, and his attempt to come to terms with its consequences. The first part of the book provides an overview of Dolly's childhood, family life, and the circumstances that led to his lobotomy. Dolly describes himself as a difficult child who often acted out in school and at home. He was passed around from one family member to another, and his mother eventually placed him in the care of a psychiatrist who diagnosed him with childhood schizophrenia. It was this diagnosis that ultimately led to his lobotomy. Dolly provides a vivid description of the lobotomy procedure and the traumatic experience of waking up in the hospital after the surgery. The second part of the book explores the aftermath of Dolly's lobotomy. He was sent to a series of institutions, including a state mental hospital and a reform school. Dolly recounts the abuse and neglect he experienced at these institutions and the profound isolation and confusion he felt as a result of the lobotomy. He also describes his relationship with his father, who played a significant role in the decision to have him lobotomized. Dolly's father is portrayed as a distant and abusive figure who was unable to connect with his son. The third part of the book is devoted to Dolly's search for answers about his lobotomy. He contacts doctors who were involved in the procedure and attempts to piece together the events leading up to his surgery. He also meets with other lobotomy survivors and begins to understand the larger context in which his lobotomy occurred. Dolly's journey of self-discovery is a powerful testament to the importance of understanding one's own history in order to move forward. Throughout the memoir, Dolly's writing style is frank and unflinching. He does not shy away from describing the pain and trauma he experienced, both physically and emotionally. His descriptions of the lobotomy procedure are particularly vivid, as he recounts the sensation of having his brain probed and the confusion and disorientation he felt afterwards. At the same time, Dolly's writing is nuanced and introspective. He is able to reflect on his own behavior as a child and the ways in which his diagnosis and treatment shaped his identity and sense of self. One of the most striking aspects of My Lobotomy is its portrayal of the social attitudes of the mid-20th century. Dolly describes a world in which mental illness was stigmatized and misunderstood, and in which children could be labeled as schizophrenic and subjected to experimental medical procedures with little oversight or accountability. He also explores the ways in which gender, race, and class intersected with mental illness and affected the way people were treated by the medical establishment. Overall, My Lobotomy is a powerful and moving memoir that sheds light on a dark chapter in the history of medicine. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of trauma and adversity, and a reminder of the importance of empathy and understanding in our interactions with others. By sharing his story, Dolly has given voice to the many people who have suffered as a result of the lobotomy craze of the mid-20th century, and has helped to ensure that such practices are never repeated.